Hey guys, so another extraterrestrial contact 2023 video. So I originally got this idea that open contact could occur in 2023 from Bashar, channeled by Daryl Anker. Do I really believe it will happen in 2023? I don't know for sure. <laughs> you know, it's kind of up to the ETs. They're waiting for us to become ready. I do believe there's a very high probability of it happening within the next, by around 2033, 2035. So <laughs> for some of you, that's a long time to wait. I guess, especially if you're only kind of, um, you're kind of like 18 watching this video and you're like, oh my God, that's almost my entire life again. <laughs> I don't know why I, I sounded like Krusty the Clown out of The Simpsons just so. <laughs> and so, yeah, so, so what I really wanted to talk about in this video is trying to, is like making it happen. Of course, like it's up to us to make it happen. If we want open contact to happen in like 2023 to 2026, this potential window for contact that we seem to be entering into due to the very intense energies that are on Earth at the minute, partly to do with the pandemic situation and like so many people being forced to like go inwards. I think it has caused a lot of people to deepen their spiritual practice. It has caused a lot of people to become open to spirituality, even if that's in not a form that they call spirituality, even if it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm going insane, stuck in my house. <laughs> of course, Krusty's back. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> uh, and they just like started doing meditation. <laughs> it doesn't work when I try and do it. And um, so, yeah, so, so, so I feel really consciousness is really shifting. There's definitely a potential for open contact next year because basically the, 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 the point that open contact will occur when humanity's frequency reaches a high enough level collectively because part of what causes humanity's frequency to raise on a collective level and for individuals is the level of compassion we embody, the level of empathy we embody, the, the level we want to serve other people I guess connected to compassion the level of love unconditional love like 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 pure unconditional love not not so much whether you whether your partner's been nice to you today <laughs> how much you love them <laughs> but that's a form of love a form of the creator's love but we don't need to wait for our partner to tell us that they love us and, and, they, and, they, <laughs> and we can have a romantic night to, to experience love because cause this, is, this is actually the lowest form of love. It's a very high form, of course, because love is like, um, like an extremely powerful creation. And of course, um, as those of you that <laughs> have experienced love might tell me, <laughs> never had a particularly successful experience of this for a long period myself. But I'm sure that some of you will tell me. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to know that it does exist on a human level. That would be very romantic and very, very um, uh, sentimental to hear. <laughs> but ultimately, like even as powerful as human love is, it is the lowest level as, of love, as I understand it. The lowest form of love. Like true love is something we experience. We experience in our heart chakra and our higher chakras. But that's not even true love. Love. We, love is the fabric of creation. Love is what actually birthed like the entirety of all infinity. So you can see why I might say that like human love and like romantic love is the lowest form because when you understand that love is actually the consciousness that, that births all of creation and when you get glimpses of this in meditation and your spiritual practice in your heart and you actually begin to like um, experience like unconditional love, like it's like nothing, at least nothing I've ever experienced with, with a romantic partner. And um, it's like way beyond that. Um, I mean, I don't claim to <laughs> experience the highest levels of romantic love, not even close. And however, like um, in my personal experience, it's like it's like way beyond because it's unconditional. It's like it's like you just love everything. And like um, so, so, so there's no like fear <laughs> of, of your partner leaving you involved in it, which kind of mars the unconditional blissful experience of it, even if it's very subconscious. So going off on a tangent, so yeah, so the ETs are waiting for us to embody more of this love. And you know, like even romantic love, uh, like um, raises the frequency of planet Earth. 
So, but yes, yeah, so they were waiting for the frequency of planet Earth for our love light frequencies, empathy, compassion levels to reach a certain level before they make open contact, before they really start showing up and say, start saying, hey, hey, governments, like, like okay, we've, we've really been giving you the opportunity to, to take control of this, but you don't seem to be taking control and we seem to have can't reach the point on planet Earth where we feel that um, humanity is generally ready for open extraterrestrial contact. So if you're not willing to take up the baton, we're going to hand it to some other people like Jonathan. <laughs> Seems ridiculous to say now. My, this allowed me, <laughs> um, but to, to all the people willing to take up the baton of extraterrestrial contact and be the ambassadors and we're going to begin to start flying over your cities like we did in the phoenix lights huge great motherships so that people cannot deny that we are here and to get the ball rolling to get people asking questions like what what are these two mile wide craft flying over our cities at night making no noise hmm um government hmm um tv uh, what's going on hello hello <laughs> so 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 yeah, so so this is going to occur at the point. But of course, it's likely that the, the as a reflection of humanity reaching a collective vibrational frequency of being ready for open extraterrestrial contact, that, our go that we will shift to a parallel timeline where our governments are actually finally, finally ready, finally willing and ready to admit that um, extraterrestrials are real and a lot of their fear that their cushy little boat is going to get rocked by the extraterrestrial situation is going to subside and they're going to be like oh well you know it's probably going to work out best I've got, I've got this nice trust fund hidden away in the Maldives anyway in a secret bank account so <laughs> you've got to laugh about the situation and you've got to make a joke about it but it's probably true on some level so yeah so 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 what we need to do is we need to get get the collective consciousness ready for open contact it's ultimately all about raising the collective frequency so the more we can get on our spiritual path whether that's meditation self inquiry yoga psychic powers um like reading spiritual books all day long moving to india moving to rishikesh or or coming to live in Peru in Machu Picchu, or like the ET's recommendation of following your highest excitement moment to moment, no matter what it is, like um, like anything we do to, to work on our spiritual progress is going to raise our vibrational frequency, even if it doesn't feel like it, because we can't, we go on a roller coaster that keeps going up, according to Bashar. Like you go up, you go up, like today, like I'm on quite a high at the minute, you might notice. Like tomorrow, I'll probably go, no, 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 fear, 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 fear. Then a few days later, I'll be like, whoa, whoa, yeah, I'm in bliss, I'm in heaven. Oh, no, 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 life is terrible. To... <laughs> this is kind of what the spiritual journey is like. So even if you're like um, on a down period and you feel like you're going crazy, Crazy, know that by doing the spiritual this is actually raising your frequency because you're actually bringing your shadow to the surface and, and in the process of purging it so while it might be causing tremors in the collective vibrational field temporarily like collectively overall you're actually raising the frequency so so do anything to raise your vibration do your spiritual practice surrender give your life to god say god i finally give up i finally realize i'm not i can't do this with my stupid little ego please take over control of my life and show me how to live amen even if you know or christianity fine absolutely fine I, i've got nothing against christianity it's very complicated and like the bible can be a little bit confusing but there's very much a path to awakening buddhism hinduism and so yes yeah, so whatever you can do to raise your vibration is very good and spreading the word guys we need to get begin to spread the word because we more the, the more we spread the word like what actually happens i need to calm down <laughs> So what actually happens when we focus on extraterrestrial contact and talk about extraterrestrial contact, talk about UFOs, talk about ETs, talk about the Pleiadians, the Yael, Shikani, Sirius, Andromeda, Orion, the Lyra. <laughs> 
Hello, 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 we are the Yo Yo. Welcome, 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 welcome to our pitch, our frequency, our amazing space of vibrational essence. We are God, you are God, we are bliss, we are the collective consciousness reverberating on an energy of bliss and vibrational ecstasy in nature forevermore. Amen. <laughs> The more we focus and talk about ETs and UFOs, we actually, it actually connects us to their consciousness and actually raises their frequency. And I don't know if you know, so you feel energy, so sensitive to energy, but you might just know I became happier when I started doing that. So you know, this is what raising our frequency means. It means becoming happier, ultimately. And so like yeah the minute we just focus because it connects us to their consciousness whatever we focus upon connects us to the vibration of whatever we're focused upon so so when we're talking about ets talking about certainly the high vibrational love light ets talking about ufos talking about open contact it's connecting us into the consciousness of the ets which is actually ra raising our vibrational field so the more we actually talk about it, the more we raise our own frequency, the people that we are talking about it to, it connects them to their energy. And try, don't force this on people, but like, don't, don't, don't stop people. Don't be some like, you know, you know, preacher on the street. The aliens are coming. Listen to me. <laughs> don't be like that. But like, if you find people that are open to it, feel inspired to start a YouTube channel, you feel inspired to make a post on Facebook. This will connect you and everyone connected to the post, that reads the post, that watches the video, to that vibrational frequency and begin to create a vibrational frequency rising, elevation, begin to expand people's consciousness and begin to expand the consciousness of planet Earth ready for open contact, ready for the, the, the vibrational frequency. I truly believe, it's just kind of come to me, but this is kind of obvious to me now, that the ETs are actually man monitoring the collective consciousness, the collective vibrational field of Earth. And they actually measure this on a scientific value of hertz per second, like a frequency, like your TV set. Hopefully a higher frequency than the 50, 60 hertz the TV set oscillates at. And when we reach this particular frequency, I believe that will be a sign for the probably tune into like their synchronicity, their intuition, like connect to source, like and like feel into it as well. But I, I believe they've probably got a vibrational collective threshold point. And when humanity reaches a collective vibrational threshold, this is the point where they understand that they are ready to start moving forward on the next stage of the agenda of open contact on Earth. And so the more we talk about it, the more we talk about this with our friends and our families. Come on, guys, be courageous. I know it can be a bit daunting. None of us want to look stupid. None of us want to feel embarrassment. None of us, well, <laughs> maybe I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, some of us don't care. <laughs> but, but like, um, like, I understand, like, it can be hard, especially when you're first moving out onto this. But like be brave guys understand that the benefits this is going to bring to your family this is going to bring to humanity this is going to bring to your friends free energy like wisdom that's going to bring so much happiness and peace and joy to humanity it's unbelievable our lives are going to become radically radically better perhaps not instantaneously it's perhaps going to take time to in, take time to integrate the new frequencies to learn to like um, be allowed to use the free energy devices safely to to begin to like embody the new spiritual consciousness but it's definitely going to assist your humanity, your, your humanity, your humanity, your humanity, your planet, your friends, your family on a level we can't possibly imagine, guys. So be brave, be brave, be brave. Start talking about this if you feel the resonance, like tune into your heart. What does your heart want to do? Don't listen to fear. Listen to your higher consciousness. What does your excitement want to do? Try and learn to distinguish between like what you are guiding. And don't say, oh, my higher self doesn't want me to do this because I feel anxious. That's, that's not the point. Never listen to anxiety. Like anxiety is the opposite. Anxiety is normally a sign you should do it. Not kind of. But, but anyway, like, often you'll have excitement and like a feeling in your heart to do it accompanied by fear and anxiety. 
did I say that right? <laughs> but like, don't listen to the anxiety. The anxiety will try and turn you off, put you off. Feel, feel if you, you know, like, feel in your higher consciousness, in your heart, that you want to do this regardless of the anxiety, regardless of the fear. And go with the flow, guys. If you feel inspired to share something on YouTube, even if you only get like, my new, new YouTube channels tend to just get like 10, 15, 19 views. But that's amplified your own frequency and your own perspective by 19 times. And imagine if we can get a million people doing this, that's 19 million people. Do you see what I'm saying? It all amplifies, it all magnifies. Even if you only just get four views on YouTube, it's making a difference, guys. It's tough to get views on YouTube these days with the pandemic radically increasing the amount of people that took up to YouTube. Um, so, yeah, so that's the idea, guys. Talk about it. This will, this will raise the frequency of planet Earth and also it will get people talking or begin to spread the message. And I think, you, I think that's the end of this video. <laughs> So I think I said what I needed to say, even though I barely remember what I needed to say and I, what I said because I'm kind of in a channeling state. And so, yeah, so spread the word, guys. It's probably the most important thing we can do now. And I said, so but it's up to you. But follow your excitement. I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> I'll see you all in another now, guys. Follow your heart, ultimately. Follow your excitement. Follow your intuition and raise your frequency. It's more important than doing anything I tell you to do. So whatever way you feel you can... <laughs> I'm not telling you to raise your frequency. I'm not telling you. It's optional. You know, if you want to be depressed, that's up to you. Like, listen to your pain body. Listen to your suffering. <laughs> like, raising the frequency will initiate open contact when it reaches a certain threshold. Peace, love, light and joy to you all. Shivai. Oh, and check out my upcoming channeling telepathy and ET contact course, guys. Really exciting course I got running in September to do with channeling telepathy and extraterrestrial contact, believe it or not. Check out the link in the box below, guys. JonathanTrinity.com forward slash channeling. See you in another now in the course, perhaps. Shivai.